Welcome back, gang. What a weekend in the G-Pack. Briarcliff gets a second win of the season. Northwestern wins a 50 to nothing shutout. And Morningside and Dort played arguably the best game of the season with the Mustangs getting a last-minute touchdown to prevent the upset. And after all that, the G-Pack honoring a pair of Mustangs today. Starting with wide receiver Caleb Schweiger, who was named the GPAC Offensive Player of the Week following a seven catch, 108 yard, and two touchdown day versus the defenders, including the game winning touchdown with 43 seconds left on a day where Reed Jurgensmeyer was held to just 79 yards. Schweiger stepping up for big plays late for Morningside. The second player honored being Mustangs kicker Chase Carter, who became just the third player in team history to score four field goals in a game while also going two for two on extra points, something that he leads the nation in. He scored all 12 of Morningside's points in the first half, and, well, all of those proved to be pretty crucial in the six-point win. This Saturday also marked the return of the beanie season for Steve Ryan. And the last couple of seasons, well, that's been right about the time he breaks it out when things get a little cold. And he's rocked that same headgear in addition to his usual game day get up. And it's something that he says isn't an accident. Today was beanie weather. And I don't, I don't know if you know this about this beanie, but I'm actually undefeated in this beanie. So, um, you know. I got this beanie, I think, three years ago, and we've won all our cold. Our only game we, we lost was in 90 degree heat. The visor that I wore for that game, nobody even knows where that thing is. And I'm not saying I'm superstitious by any means. Of course I'm not. I mean, the game does not come down to a beanie or visor, but this beanie is very successful. We'll see if the beanie makes a return. Mustangs back at it on Saturday in their final home game of the season when they host Jamestown, looking to shake off any kinks before heading to Northwestern the following week.